welcome to another day with Jesus, a daily devotional podcast to help you walk with Jesus, live for Jesus and represent Jesus. Now let us open our heart to receive as Pastor Preji shares from the heart of God. Greetings in Jesus' precious name. Welcome to this amazing new morning that the Lord has given us. Let's go into God's word and try to understand what is God instructing us for the day ahead. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs, chapter 10 and verse 11, The words of the godly are a life-giving fountain. The words of the wicked, they conceal violent intentions. So, there is a contrast being made between the words that the godly speak and the words that the wicked speak. So let me begin with this question. What is your identity? Do you identify yourself as a child of God? Or do you identify yourself as a wicked person? Do you believe that you've become the righteousness of God? Do you believe that you have been made new? Do you believe that the Spirit of God now lives inside of you? Do you believe that you are now a branch of the wine, the wine being Jesus Christ and you being a branch, an overflow, a person that is coming out of the wine that is Jesus himself? Do you believe that you are somebody who is called to represent Jesus on this planet Earth, that you are an ambassador of Jesus Christ? If you do believe all of those things about you, it is necessary that you understand what should be the fruit of your life. It says the words of the godly are supposed to be a life-giving fountain. See, the emphasis here in both those statements is on the words. The words that the wicked speak and the words that the godly speak. See, the world is watching and they are listening and they are attentive to every word that comes out of your mouth. And that is why it is necessary that we be very careful, that we spend time meditating on the presence of God, meditating on the word of God, meditating on the ways and the purposes and the intentions of God before we release a word from our mouth. See, what, what we speak sometimes is an overflow of what we feel. And yet, they may not be truly what God feels about that particular situation. And a godly person, he is going to be intentional to weigh his words. He will not just spit his words every now and then at whosoever he likes with whatsoever intensity he has at that point. The words of the godly are supposed to not just be words, but they're supposed to be a life-giving fountain. Now, if you believe that you're a child of God, if you believe that you're somebody that is an ambassador of Jesus Christ, somebody that is called by God to represent Him, then it is necessary that you be intentional about the words that you speak. And also it is necessary that your words will become a life giving fountain to the people around you. On a daily basis, can you evaluate what you speak to your family? Can you evaluate what you speak to your colleagues at work? Can you evaluate what you write on social media, on your Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube posts, the comments that you put on someone else's posts? Can you evaluate your words? Are they a life giving fountain. See, sometimes being a person that is influencing and helping people, you may have to use critical words. You may have to use words that are going to correct somebody, rebuke somebody. But even in those harsh moments, are you still being a life-giving fountain? Or are you hiding violent intentions. That's what it says about the words of the wicked. It says the words of the wicked, they may sound good on the outside. They may look very delicious on the outside. And yet, 
it has a nature of concealing the real violent intentions behind those words those words are meant to blindside the other person so that they will just fall for the flattery or they will fall for the goodness of these words and thus they would not be able to see what do you really truly mean by it that is the primary distinction between the godly and the wicked the words that the godly speak and the words that the wicked speak see on the outside both of it may look the same but on the inside one will bring life one will be with a desire to create life whereas the other one will be with a desire to hide the true intentions of your relationship with this person see when a godly person speaks sometimes he may correct or edify or criticize with an intention to continue to give life to help this person that he is correcting but when a wicked person speaks even when he is when he is praising somebody or when he is being nice to somebody he still has wicked intentions he still has violent intentions he is still envious about this person or jealous of this person or he is upset with the growth that this person has now if you have been falling in the category of how a wicked person talks it's necessary that you bring your heart to the lord and you bring your identity to go to god and you allow the lord to transform the way that you speak transform the way that you utter things with your mouth your mouth your tongue it is a very precious valuable weapon that the lord has given you the more careful that you are with the words you speak with the words that are released from your spirit the more greater will be your victories the more greater will be your breakthroughs the more greater will be the life that will flow out of you if you are careful if you are intentional about the words you speak your victories will be innumerable god bless you thank you so much for tuning in this morning may this word become your lifestyle have a blessed and a beautiful day ahead We hope you are encouraged by today's podcast. To know more about Pastor Preji or other resources you can avail or to receive help in any specific area, connect with us at pastorpreji.com. We wish you a Christ-filled day ahead.